Hello, my name is Gavin. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, Form 1 Mathematics, uh, Chapter 1 Revision. Okay, we're just going to go through a few structure questions. Okay, very easy, true, false, that kind of question, then a bit of problem solving. Huh? Because uh, most students will be trapped in this chapter in the problem solving. Because it's the a chapter of rational numbers, so they have a lot of... Uh, different questions they can ask because it's all these addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, you know, fraction, and decimals, everything. So this is the best chapter, in fact, you know, for uh, your teachers to set questions that will catch rabbit. Okay, catch rabbit. So we will need to go through them one by one. Okay, so let us start with the first one first. Okay, determine if the addition or subtraction of integers is true or false. So this one, not much to do. You have your calculator. Okay, you just have to be careful of what? Be careful of bot mass, that's the only thing to be careful of. Okay, bot mass, you know that you have studied. Okay, BODMS, you have to do according to the sequence. Uh -huh. Do according to the sequence from left to right. Okay, from left to right. Uh, second thing is, uh, my students, you will know that we will have uh, two families in this bot mass. Uh, keluarga DM and keluarga AS. Okay, when you see inside an equation where there is a mix of this uh, where there's a mix of the equation let's say three times four plus with the five we will have to go by okay another one uh, divided by two we will have to go by keluarga first we have to selesaikan keluarga dm dahulu selepas tu baru boleh selesaikan keluarga as so what it means is we will have to do the multiplication and division first and within within the keluarga we will follow the what the sequence we will follow the Sequence. Sequence maksudnya apa? If the multiplication come out first, like this one, we will do it first. If the division come out first, like this one, we will do it first. Okay? So, in this case, what happens is, uh, according to the sequence, okay, number one, we will do multiplication here. After that, we will do division here. Then, that means what? Keluarga DM dah selesai. Dah selesai. Baru you pergi keluarga AS, which is the third one here. Okay? So, that's the only thing you have to be careful in this question. So let's see, 7 into plus minus, we know that plus minus, this whole thing become minus because plus minus, when a different sign, it will give you minus, okay? That's what we learn. That's what we learn. So, becomes 7 into minus 108, you get negative 36. So, this answer is wrong because this is supposed to be a plus, then they will give you 180. So, false. Second, negative 11, let's see what we can change. Positive, negative, become negative. Negative, negative, become positive. When it's same, I told you, when it's same, will give you positive. When it's different, will give you Minus. Okay, that's all. So, uh, let's punch this into the calculator and you will get the answer which is the negative 22, which is correct. True. Now, see, same, negative, negative become positive, positive, negative become negative. Positive, negative become negative. Because it's different, different be negative. So, 0 plus 16 minus with 31, you will get negative 15. Yes, negative 15, so it's true. Okay, very simple, nothing much to ask. Now, write the integer negative, oh, so basically it wants you to write in words now, so we will write negative, negative must write now, because it's a negative number, it, it has a meaning when it has a sign there, so negative 18, okay, that's all, negative 18, nothing else, very simple. A glass of water is at a freezing point of 0 degrees Celsius, when salt is added, by the way, for the, uh, a little bit more information, uh, every time when you add salt now, nah, every time when you add salt to ice, it will reduce the freezing point. It will reduce the freezing point lower than zero degrees Celsius. That is why um, when you see this uh, seller of this ice cream, uh, ice cream when they want to sell at this uh, outside of the school, uh, on a very hot and sunny day, if they put the normal ice, what happens is this ice cream or this ice, uh, they will melt, you know, they will melt because of the sun. So for this ice cream seller, how they make this um, ice cream not melt is by adding salt salt you know bags after bags of salt add to the ice the ice uh, the ice that is surrounding the container okay because there's a container there's a container there's a tub okay there's a tub uh, tub means uh, the the compartment lah, compartment to put the the ice cream this is where they put the ice cream okay this is where they put the ice cream uh, not too small not so small lah, like this okay this is where they put the ice cream this is the ice cream so here will be ice you know here will be ice here will be ice so what happens is they'll add the salt lah. They'll add the salt. They'll add the salt so that um, it will reduce the freezing point. Means ah, it will be more frozen than normal. More frozen than normal. Okay, so we want that to happen. Okay, 
So the temperature drops to 5 degrees Celsius below zero, represent the new temperature of the water as an integer. So uh, it is testing you what you know, it is testing you uh, suhu, temperature. I told you that temperature we have both upwards and both downwards, both upwards and both downwards. And in the middle here, we will have uh, zero degrees Celsius, zero degrees Celsius. Up here, we will have very hot, let's say 100 degrees Celsius. And down here, we will also have 100 degrees Celsius. But I told you that when it's one hot, up here is hot now, when one hot and one is going to be cold, the cold one, the cold one have, have to have a different sign to to represent it. So we will put a negative sign in front of the negative 100. So negative 100 degrees Celsius. So what happens is it tells you that the ice is supposed to be here, but hey, why does this keep happening? Now, when it tells you that the ice is actually going to be at zero degrees Celsius, which is here at zero degrees Celsius, and it moves downwards. Ne? Freezing point of zero degrees Celsius, a temperature drops, okay? Drops, then you go into negative. So what happens is we will have to put lah, negative five. Okay, that's your first way of, do, of doing it. Second way is you see below zero, then you know already. Okay, none. If positive eight means eight units forward, what does negative eight mean? If one forward, one north, one south, one in, one out, one hot, one cold, one forward, one backward. Okay, very simple. Eight units backward. Okay, and it's usually like this. Everything that is um, going, that is progressing, uh, that means. Uh, getting bigger or getting heavier or getting hotter it is always in a positive positive side of numbers when things are getting smaller lighter colder okay, darker it is always in a negative side of things so in this case backwards negative lah. okay now eight if a profit of 2000 uh, 2180 is written as positive 2180 write a loss okay same ah, one profit, one loss. So put the negative. Uh, you ask me if we should put the negative sign like this, uh, like this. Uh, no lah, no. This will make you look very stupid. Okay, for uh, money, put like this. Put like this. Okay, money. Put like this. Money. Okay. Because the unit is special. The unit is in front lah. Because if it's something else, let's say uh, CM, then your unit is at the back. Tak kacau. Okay, tak kacau. But the idea is that. You should put it like this, lah, huh? negative ringgit. So, negative, you understand, is a negative. Now, during winter, town A records a temperature of negative 12. So, it's very cold. In summer, because winter, ma. in summer, the temperature rises to positive 37 degrees Celsius. What is the difference between the two temperatures? Asking you a difference. So, if you cannot I uh, visualize what is happening, draw, nah. draw, draw. Okay. Here will be uh, very panas. Okay, we put a hot there. Here will be very a joke, put a C there. What happens is there's going to be a zero degrees again. Huh? There will be a zero degrees here. So we put a zero degrees there or neutral. Huh? Huh? Not whole, not cold. Okay. Then uh, uh, we will record a temperature of negative 12, which is going to be here. Okay, here. Under zero huh? because it's uh, negative 12. So it's under. Then positive 37, which is above zero. Huh? Somewhere here. Huh? Okay. And this is town B. Huh? Okay. So they're asking you, or not, not, not town B. It's... Um, Summer, summer and winter. Summer and winter. So what happens is, uh, we will need to find the difference. Difference is here lah. Difference is here. So it, it's always uh, when you see the word difference, uh, don't need to think so much. Difference, what symbol they want you to use? Ne minus symbol. They want you to use minus symbol. And when they ask for difference, what is the rule? Big, ma big number minus small number or small number minus big number. Definitely is big number minus small number. So we'll do it lah. 37 which is the big number. It's big number minus minus this is this minus is for what you know no, no. this minus for what no this minus is for difference no huh not not because of this negative stuff huh? is because of this difference okay then you bracket minus the smaller number we will give you 37 plus with a 12 and that will give you a 49 degrees celsius of difference of difference okay of difference yes nothing nothing much um, else to see that's all Number 10, Dato Aziz attends a seminar on the 18th floor of the building. He goes down 15 floors to a restaurant for lunch and then goes up 9 floors to his office. On which floor is his office? So, suppose he's on top here, 18. Okay, he went down 15 floor. So, this is, this is, went down 15 uh, to a, a floor here. Don't know what floor lah, don't care. Okay, and then goes up 9 floor. Okay, 9 floor. Goes up 9 floor here. And agree or not, here is his office. 
Here is his office. Uh. You want to know what floor is his office? Uh. So what happens is the where they catch the rabbit, uh, where they catch the rabbit is this 15. When you are going down, you must have a negative. Just like the very famous question of this diver diving into the water, or submarine diving into the water, or fish or turtle diving into the water, you always have negative because you are going down. Going up always plus. That's why here is a plus 9. And down is always at minus. So minus 15. So mathematically, how you write? You write 18 minus 15. And from here, you will know that actually now Dr. Aziz, uh, uh, Dr. Aziz is actually eating lunch at the third floor. Okay? Then he adds another 9 floors up. Okay, so we will do 18 minus 15 is 3. 3 plus 9 will give you a 12. Okay? I will give you a 12. So that's where the catch rabbit, huh? the, the minus sign of the 15. So let's see number 11 or oh, Hot's question. Good. Huh? Given three integers, okay, negative 17, negative 9, plus 20, using operations plus and or minus, find the maximum and minimum values involving all three integers. That means they want you to find the maximum and the minimum lah, that will have involved all three. So what we know is for maximum, we want the number to be big. For minimum, we want the number to be small. What do you do when you want the number to be big? Plus, ah, plus until the end of the world, you will get big number. What if you want the number to be small? Minus, ah, minus until the end of the world, you will get the smallest number ever. Lah. So, what happens is, start with the 20. Okay? This is my maximum. Ah. Start with the 20. What do you do? Plus. Ah. But can you plus or not? It's negative or? Negative or? Negative or? Can plus or not? Cannot, ah. they, make, they put a negative, they put a minus there. Ah. Why? Because you know when you put a negative 7 there, you put a negative 9 there. What happens? 20 negative negative become positive, negative negative become positive, you will get what? You will get plus, all the plus. Okay? So what happens? You will take 20 plus with 17 plus with 9. What you will get? You will get a 46. That's the biggest number you create. Okay? No doubt. Small number. Small number, how we do? Minimum. Minimum. Same idea. Start with the negative 17. Minus a 9. Why oh, you don't put a minus there? Because you don't want to make it a plus. Ma. So you just equal lah. Put a 9 there. Okay? Or if you don't understand this, uh, you don't understand this, uh, then we, we make big one, big one. Now we make we make a uh, uh, more complicated one. Uh, minus 17. A uh, plus minus uh, if you if you uh, if you ask me why I put a minus there. Okay. Then minus what? Uh, minus 20. Uh. Okay, minus 20. Why? Because this plus minus make it make it minus uh. plus minus make it minus uh. 9, minus 20 again. So if I'm not mistaken, you will get back the number negative. How much? Negative 46. Because when you have one positive, one negative, it will definitely be of the same value. Okay? Okay. Now, next question 12. Number line shows two known and two unknown directed numbers. Okay? Number line line basically. Okay? Determine the value of Q. So, we know that there is a difference of one step. Okay? From negative 1, this is negative 1. Huh? From negative 1 to Q, there is one step. And this is negative 255. So what happens is, number line what I told you, rule, the rule. The rule is how much? The difference between these two points or the gap. The difference of the gap. So how do we find the gap? The difference. We will take difference, huh? again, huh? difference, huh? key. the key one, huh? difference, huh? minus symbol, minus symbol. Big number minus small number. Big number minus, okay, so big number, big number minus small number, okay. Okay, you will get what? Negative 1 plus 2.55. What you will get? You will get a 1.55. So you know that the gap here is a 1.55 difference. So when you're going to the right now, right now, right now, from negative 1 to Q, plus or minus? Plus or minus? Plus. Plus. 1.55. Do you know why plus or not? Because on the number line, right side plus, left side minus. That's why you have the negative numbers getting smaller and smaller on the left side. Okay? So we get... Q, Q equals to negative 1 plus with a 1.55, which will give you a 0 0.55. So Q is 0 0.55. Okay, Q is 0 0.55. Now, I'll create the value of P plus Q. Now, P is to the left. That's why to the left now, what do we do? We minus 1.55. So how do you find P? You will take the P here. You will take the P here. And you will do negative 2.55 minus with uh, 1.55 which will give you what is your answer that you want what is the answer that you want punch your calculator and you will get a negative 4.10 after that they ask you to calculate the value of p plus q 
plus uh, P negative 4.10 Q 0 0.55 what's your answer punch the calculator again not very hard job you will get answer of negative 3.55 okay so A siap B siap good now let's go to uh, question number 413 okay match each operation with the correct value okay so this one nothing much to do calculator job punch everything in the calculator okay let's do negative 40.3 let's find if there's any way they catch their bin huh? uh, not many ways okay this one very simple so if you punch your calculator what you will get you will get a very nice 86.7 huh? so 86.7 here okay now next one is a fraction huh? anything to trap you with nothing also put into the put into calculator again Okay, I know you all very good with calculator. So, you put in your calculator lah. Okay, every number key in calculator properly, you will get your answer. Believe will be the negative 17.4. Okay, and then after that, okay, I think the bottom one, which is D, easier to press. So, we will press. Again, nothing to trap you. Except for bot mask lah, I believe. Here, they want you to do the keluarga first lah. Here, uh, do the multiply first. Then you do the divide. Then you do the minus. Then you do the plus lah. Okay, that's the only thing that can trap you now. But you will get your answer 32 now. Okay, if you got calculator, no need to think about that. Okay, now find x times 2y minus x plus 2y. Is that is it divide? Huh? Divide 4. Okay, so let's first find out what x and y is. Lah. Find out what x and y is. I don't like that. Lah, huh? Okay, so let us find out the rule, the rule, the rule, or the gaps, the gaps. How many gaps here? One gaps, two gaps. Difference, difference. Uh, difference is 1 Difference is 1 So what happens is Can we come to a conclusion that Actually 1 gap here Will be a difference of 0 0.5 Yes So x actually is zero, negative 0 0.5 Then here 0 0.5 Here 1.0 Here 1.5 Here 2.0 Here 2.5 Even go to the left Negative 1.0 Negative 1.5 Okay Pretty simple So let's put into the, 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 the numbers lah you know x is negative 0 0.5 okay let's write it in here negative 0 0.5 multiply with 2y 2 okay uh, multiply again with y 1.5 minus with x minus with x which is a negative 0 0.5 careful lah of these two minus huh? one minus which is this one belong to the equation here huh? minus and one minus here belong to the x huh? belong to the x which is here huh? Okay, so you must be careful of the different minus you put. Then after that, what you will do, plus again, a 2 multiply with y, and that is a 1.5, and then divided by 4. It's very blurry. Like, I believe that is divided if I'm not mistaken, because this looks different than the this. Huh? this okay, so there's a divide. Okay, divided by 4. So, let us write properly lah, with what mass. Okay, so you can do all the multiply first. Okay, we put the negative 0 0.5, multiply with 2, multiply with 1.5. You will get here, answer is negative 1.5 lah. Negative 1.5. And then, and then what happens is, you make this negative, negative into positive. Positive 0 0.5. Okay, plus with, okay, do the behind first lah, because it's multiply and divide. Do the behind first. 2 times 1.5, divide by 4. Okay, you will get how much? Uh, 0 0.5. So, plus 0 0.5. So you will get your answer. If you click in, key in now, you key in everything. Okay, key in everything. You will get the answer of negative 0 0.25. Okay, so calculate. Okay, 4x. Okay, so uh, let's do this. Huh? Substitute 4 times with x, which is a negative one, uh, 0 0.5 minus with a bracket minus 2 times with a y which is a 1.5 bracket and then you do a negative x which is a negative 0 0.5 now be careful again huh? put in red color this negative belong to this negative this negative belong to the x punya negative which is here okay so be careful with the negative again so let us go back to the equation uh, 0 0.5 then plus another y y is how much y is 1.5 so what happens is you have to do all together and you will get the answer. Let us just punch everything to inside because it's uh, very simple with your calculator. Again, okay, negative 2.5 minus with uh, negative 2y 
y is how much? Uh, 1.5. Okay, after that you will get the bottom. Okay, so answer is uh, half lah. Okay, 0 0.5. Okay, now 15, a box of ice cream. Okay, just three, four, five questions left. A box of ice cream is kept in the refrigerator at negative 3 degrees Celsius. If the temperature of the ice cream increases by 1.7, increases means what? Lebih panas lah, huh? That means the ice cream will get, get what do you call that, melt now. Every 60 seconds after it is taken out from the refrigerator, how long in minute will it take for the temperature of ice cream to reach 33? Okay, draw again. You know the ice cream now negative 3, very hot, very cold. You want to see how long it takes to go to 33 degrees Celsius. So first things first, what is the difference between 33 and negative 3? Because you want to find the difference. So 33 minus even negative 3, you know that it's going to give you answer 36. So the difference between temperature here is 36 degrees Celsius. So this is the difference, okay? Okay, 36 degrees Celsius difference. So it tells you that it increased by 1.7 degrees Celsius every 60 seconds. So it wants to find you, it wants, it wants to ask you lah, in minute how, how, how long lah? How long? So, what do we do? We take 36 divided by 1.7. 36 divided by 1.7. What will you get? You will get the answer. Huh? You will get the answer. This is the answer. Huh? You will get 21, 21, and 3 over 17 minute. Okay? Uh, yes. Okay? 21 and 3 over 17 minute. Because uh, this is actually 1 minute. Lah. Okay? Change it into 1 minute. Okay, one minute. So, 21 and 3 over 17 minutes. Or if you want to be specific, in decimal, 21.18 minutes. Okay, that is your answer for it to reach. This is basically what you have to do only, divide by 1.7. Okay, that's all. Very simple. Now, 60. The water level at a dam drops 14 cm every day. Okay, drops 14 cm every day. What is the total drop in the water level after 5 days? That means, uh, now you don't know how much. But you know that every day it will minus a 14. Because drops ma. Drops ah. Keyword drops ah. Don't put a positive there ah. Okay, drops ah. You drop money, you won't get positive money one ah. Okay, if you drop money, it's gone ah. Okay, if you drop money, you keep getting money, then I won't be here. I will be on the streets, uh, throwing money on the ground, and then I will become positive money ah. Impossible. Drops, negative. So, negative 14 cm every day. What is the total drop in the water level after 6 days? So, times 6. Ah. Very simple, just times 6. What answer you will get? Times 6, you will get the answer. That is a negative 84. Lah. That means it will drop 84. Okay, it will drop 84 cm. You can either write drop 84 cm, drop 84 cm in words, or you can uh, put negative 84 cm. Lah. Depending on what the question, how the question asks you. Lah. But the idea is the same. It will drop okay, 84 cm after 6 days. Okay, so let's see, calculate. Okay, now let's do manual lah. Okay, because very simple. Uh, negative, negative become positive, positive 4. Negative, negative become positive, positive 2 over. Negative, negative become positive 4. Positive, negative become negative 2. So, 4 plus 2 give you uh, 6. 6 and then uh, bottom is a 4 minus 2 will give you uh, 2. So, you answer it will give you a 3. Okay, answer will give you a 3. Okay, calculate this. So if, okay, let's see, I think this is plus, huh? this divide, okay, this divide, okay, I can see it's divide. So first things first, bracket first, because bot mass, the bracket asking you do uh, bracket first. So 34 minus 19, you will get 15 here. Okay, so ideally now the equation you can write like this, 15 divided by 5, plus over 4 times 11. After that, you will do keluarga dm first, keluarga dm. So 15 divided by 5 will give you 3, okay, plus 4 copy down. Plus 4 copy down, you don't need to touch because it's not keluarga DM, don't touch. Oh, no, no. Uh, you just do the one at the back. The positive, you copy down. Positive, copy down. 4 times 11, 44. Okay, because keluarga DM. So, you get 3, 44, you add together, 47. Okay, 47. Very simple. Just do this, do this, and you plus together. Now, is it last? Oh, still got 3 more questions. Now, 19. In a monthly test, Sunny obtained 90 marks for mathematics. For science, he had 8 marks fewer than he had for mathematics. And in geo, he had 4 marks more than he had for science. Okay, a lot of things. But never mind. Let us put into... Uh, because problem solving, uh, let's write out first. Monthly test. Mathematics, let's put math. Mathematics, you get how much? 90. Then, for science, how much did he get? 8 marks fewer. Maksudnya apa? Maksudnya, you take 90 minus... 8. 
8 ah 8 fewer than 90 ah 8 fewer than mathematics ma mathematics is 90 so you take my you take 90 minus 8 no geo geo how do you find geo he had four marks more than here for science okay so you calculate lah 90 minus 8 is science ma this is science or not the one i wrote i wrote now is science and I plus again four lah then becomes geo already ah okay so let's find out one by one lah 90 90 minus 8 82 90 plus 8 or 90 minus 8 82 82 plus 4 again 86 now I'm asking you final answer is average mark for the three subjects average how do you do you take 90 plus with 82 plus with 86 divided by how many you have so three three subjects one okay divided by three subjects and then you get how much the answer 90 plus 82 plus 86 will give you answer of 258 okay 258 divided by 3 again you will get the answer 86 that means uh, on average lah on average each subject is 86 marks okay that's all now same idea this one uh, because of bottom do the bracket first do the bracket first both are going to be the same question okay so let us uh, key in one by one to see what we get 2 minus a quarter or minus or 0 0.25 okay minus a quarter you will get here answer is uh, 7 over 4 let's uh, put in fraction 7 over 4 times with here is uh, 1 minus uh, 1 and uh, 1 over 3 you will get uh, minus a uh, negative 1 over 3 okay so you do the multiplication and you will realize you get the answer of how much you get the answer of negative 7 over 12 negative 7 over 12 dah siap okay calculate okay same thing uh, punch in one by one one minus one over seven you will get how much you will get basically six over seven and after that you will get one minus one minus you will get a negative again huh? negative fraction huh? one minus one over five 5 over 7, you will get a negative 5 over 7. Okay. So, positive minus, positive minus or positive negative become, become negative 5 over 7. Then you become 1 over, 1 over 7. Okay. 6 minus 5 over 7 become 1 over 7. So, that is all your exercises for mathematics. Okay. I hope you all had majority correct because not too challenging this one even though it, it says hot okay maybe you have to think a bit but if you uh, organize your data properly properly okay by organizing data i mean this huh if you organize your data properly if you are able to illustrate what you're doing properly if you're able to uh, uh, follow the rules of the board mass properly then you will most likely be able to do all these questions okay so i think that's all for this video okay we will see what else we can revise or move on to the next chapter uh, remember study smart study fast and you'll be number one okay i'll see you in the next video bye